Hi everybody! A lot of you have been asking a lot of questions on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, chic overdose, and I do read you all, but I don't have always the time to reply. Therefore, I thought I'm gonna make this little video to reply to the most recurrent ones. This is a question that I, I get a lot. Um, I've learned six languages by uh, traveling and by luck because my parents are Russian, but I grew up in the Italian part of Switzerland. They emigrated to Switzerland when I was only six years old and I grew up in the Italian part of Switzerland, in Lugano. Therefore, naturally, my first language was Italian and Russian at home. And then by being Swiss, we are often defined as polyglots. So at school, we learn normally at least two more languages. So I learned French and German and English as an international language. Then growing up, I uh, started working as a model and as a TV presenter. So I started traveling a lot and hosting in many languages. As you host, you need to, or you take an interview, you need to be prompt and ready to reply and have the right word in the right language in your mind. Therefore, it was more of a practical training. Mm, those five I learned when I was pretty young and then slowly by training. And then uh, the last one was Spanish. It's a recent one that I, I'm still learning, but I am quite okay, I guess, with it. Uh, and I love the language. Uh, I just learned it for myself because by speaking French and Italian, the, those are two Latin languages, I, uh, I decided to, to add another Latin one. I, um, whereas I was a model already at age 12, I've um, never quit my studies. I went to high school and directly to university uh, while doing my homework or studying for my exams on the train, parallel I was working. Uh, it was really intense, mostly in my high school and university years, because I would not have much time to co go to class. I would be like traveling somewhere being at a photo shoot or filming a TV show and at the same time I'd be uh, studying for my next uh, financial exam. But I think it was worth it. I, was, I actually enjoyed the time a lot. And I um, graduated in economics. I went also to do a few internships in finance. And I quickly realized by doing that that all those experiences uh, taught me how to, how to actually be my own entrepreneur, but be my own boss. And I already had a career. I already have been managing my own invoices, my own uh, con contracts and negotiations, and more than that. So once I was in banking, I realized that I missed that. I missed my own um, entrepreneurial spirit. So I just decided not to go forward with that experience and to start my own business. Once I decided not to continue in finance, I, I got back to my previous business, which is uh, mostly show business, image, branding, and television. And I realized that I had a small following already online. And I thought, what's, what best way to create your own business at a low cost without um, anybody else independently uh, by being your own, your own boss? And it was, it was online for me, internet made it for me, and I loved it. So with my small following, I started a luxury blog initially, Chic Overdose, that transformed itself uh, into a more broad business and fashion blog. And that because uh, the public started growing quickly. We were only 50,000 in 2012, and now it's 2014, we are more than a million and a half people, which is incredible. And it's something that motivates me to go forward every day. I have contributors. I'm not alone now. I have uh, several people writing with me. Uh, initially, it was just female entrepreneurs, writers, journalists, moms. I was um, really happy to work with power women. But today, I am also reopening the doors because a lot of you guys asked me for male subjects. 
So I'm doing a male's corner and soon we're gonna have male contributors too. Fashion for me is more of an attitude and a spirit than actual clothes that you put on. I think clothes can transform you and transform your behavior and your attitude and the way you talk and walk and can create an art within your everyday life. I love that about fashion. I love the transformative part about it. And I'm just finishing a video and a photo shoot today. That's why I'm dressed like that. And I love it. Every day it's a new way of expressing yourself and it's just magical. What inspires me in my everyday life is to see people succeed. I love to watch the struggle and the hard work transform into success and thrive. I love uh, independent people, I love uh, entrepreneurial people, powerful women inspire me a lot. I uh, love what Ariana Huffington did with the Huffington Post, I love uh, Oprah, I love uh, many of the female characters that are strong and independent but at the same time stay feminine and beautiful and fashionable. So guys, I'm really happy to make these small videos more often. I will take my time to do it. Uh, absolutely, I will make space in my schedule because I really, really appreciate your support. Without you, I would not be doing what I'm doing at all. And the fact that we are so many is just so amazing and heartwarming. So please stay tuned and I'll be back very soon.